video about five minutes ago of the reddish egret. He had flown away, but I knew he was going to come back because he hangs out here all the time. So here, look, he's back. Let me turn my car off because I don't want to scare him. This is the most rare wading bird in North America. I'm just gonna try to stay quiet, but I'm telling you, these, this bird, which is a very important species, spends so much time in this area. And he's probably gonna make his way down there to the mitigation area, the bird sanctuary, bird nesting area. This might not have been the one that flew away. This could be a new one. There are several that hang out here. It's not just one. Trust me, there aren't that many of them. They're not as common as the great egret or the other species. There he goes, and he's going to make his way all the way down to the area that they want to develop. Trust me, I see them all the time. Usually what they do is they make their way, you know, down here and they hang out in the seagrass and they're getting shelter in, in the mangroves. And they're just gonna hang out there. I've seen them hang out there all morning into the afternoon. <clears throat> He's just taking his time right now. So I wanted to make this video just in case anybody doesn't believe me. This is Monday, the first day back um, to school for the children. And um, they were every morning I caught them. So if we disturb this area, they will not be coming back to us when they're very shy. See, there's hardly anybody here. You know, somebody said, oh, there's so, so, you know, many people on the causeway. Okay, well, there's... There's literally just one car here, and he just pulled up. And he pulled way, you know, back into the pine trees. Uh, excuse me, the palm trees. There's very few, few people that hang out down here. Very few people. Not busy here this morning. I, there's nobody here except me and that other vehicle. And, of course, there's the reddish. I'm also going to take some photos with my 600 millimeter lens, a big camera, just to document that he's here. Just in case somebody says, oh, well, I couldn't tell from the video, it's too far away or something. I think it's pretty obvious that's the <laughs> You can't mistake him. So wouldn't it be a shame to have this peaceful area developed and disturbed with people traipsing? Because right now at this time of the morning, I'm sure there'll be people traipsing right through this mitigation area on a wooden walkway that from it looked like from the proposed drawings, that's what they want to build. And and I guarantee you, as soon as that reddish eager saw the people, he'd be out of here. And uh, all the other birds that normally forage and hang out down here would be gone. Also, at certain times of the year, you can see quite a few killdeer in this area. I have seen red-mouth spiking plovers and, and so many more. 
All right, well, I'm gonna um, leave the reddish egret just relaxing and doing his thing. I'm gonna take some photos of him now with my 600 millimeter just to document that he's here. Okay, so as you can see, we really need to keep this area natural. All right, thank you everybody. If you really wanna make a difference and you wanna stop this from happening, you've gotta to go to the county commission meetings for the city of Dunedin. I mean, excuse me, the city commission meetings on the um, 22nd of February and on the 8th of February. We've got to go and let the commissioners know that we don't want this. We want this little area that's so peaceful and it's such a good area for these birds, which are important. I mean, a big draw of Dunedin and the causeway is the natural beauty and the diversity of the bird species that we have. We have birding people coming to this area from all over the place. They come from all over Florida. They come to Honeymoon Island. They come to the Dunedin Causeway. I think a lot of photographers know if you want to get a shot of the reddish egret to come to this little mitigation area, a lot of them know. It draws a lot of birders to our area, which is tourism. And then, of course, they go to Honeymoon and they go to downtown Dunedin. And, you know, um, this little tiny birding area, a lot of people know. This is where you see the reddish. This is where you can see a lot of night herons of uh, all different species. So this causeway attracts a lot of birding people. And if we start disturbing this, trust me, these birds are not gonna, this, these reddish eagles will never come to this area again if there's a lot of disturbance. They're just too shy. a very critical species here so I'll, I'll sign off for now and I'm going to get my camera. Alright, have a great morning. Everybody.